Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can remote control a computer anywhere in the world 100% um, free. You haven't got to pay a penny. So you need to go to this website, DW Service. Link will be in the um, description below. Click on this one, dwservice.net. Now what you're going to need to do is create an account. It's totally free. Just click on sign up at the top here. And what you need to do is fill in your email address, password, select your language, tick the box, press sign up, and then you'll be logged in. Once you've logged in, you'll um, see the following screen. What I tend to do first is create a group. So if you um, want to add multiple computers, you can just drop them into groups. So if we create a group, I've already got one group there, so just click on add. Uh, this group I'll just call my family. Give it a description, click confirm. Okay, so that's the group confirmed. So the computer that I'm going to remote control is going to be my son's computer, which is upstairs. And what I'll do, I'll add him to this group so I know he's a family member. Once you've created the group, if you just click on the home button, and then what we need to do is select agents. And this is where we're going to add the new PC. As you can see, I've already got three PCs already added. So we click the plus sign. We're going to put them in the group that I just created called My Family. Name of the computer. I'll just call it My Son's PC for now. PC upstairs so what I need to do now is click on confirm this is now added my son's PC upstairs but what I need to do is go and um, install this client on his PC and then input this code which is what I'm going to show you now okay so I'm now on my son's PC and um, we now need to go to the same website which is DW service dwservice.net from the home page we just got to install the client on this PC so we select download select download and then you can select run or you can save it to your desktop it's up to you I'll just click run this is now installing the um, software Click install, select yes, default location is fine, do you want to install yes, okay so now this is installed we can now select the option to enter an installation code so select next okay so what we need to do is enter the code that was um, from my machine and that code was 23801 you don't have to put the little um, dashes in between the numbers either select next installation has been completed select close that's it I'll now go back to my PC and we, we'll be able to see that you can remote control this computer now Okay, so I'm back on my PC now. That's the installation code that we just entered on my son's PC. So if I refresh this now, it's now disappeared because it's not ready to install. It's been done. So if I go to available, and there you go. You can now see my son's PC. It now says available. So now to remote control this PC, you just select the name. You'll be presented with the um, following screen and all you want to do is we want to remote control the screen so let's have a look just connecting now there you go that was his pc that was on upstairs um, i've now got full control i can shut it down restart it browse the internet yeah it's fully working So you've got a few options along the top. You can change the quality, fit to screen. Um, if the person's got multiple displays, you can look at their second monitor. You can um, make it full screen. 
and then the um, menu bar goes to the left hand side there so we can exit full screen uh, yeah that's it so basically once you've installed the client you can remote control that PC um, I'll come off of this computer now just by pressing this X we're now back to the um, main page um, I'll just X out of this and there you can see the PC that's available um, the ones that are not available just go to all as you can see I've got like my uncle's um, laptop that I can access um, he's not online at the minute but what I can do is drop that into the group that I created for family so if I edit this I'll change the group that it's in put it to my family click confirm that person will now come under the group for um, family so if we close these yeah so now I could click on agents and if I just want to see my family's computers I'll just change the group to my family and there's the two PCs that I can take control of obviously not this one because it's not online so yeah that's it if you um, want to remote control a computer I suggest you install this software um, I've used it with over 50 PCs assigned to an account. It's totally free. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Just one last thing. My son also has a YouTube channel which he plays games on and stuff. And he's asked me to put this on the end of the video. Um, this is his YouTube channel here. Uh, he goes by the name of Lewis M. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. So yeah, if you get a chance, just pop over there and like and subscribe to his channel. Cheers. Thank you.